In today's video I test the battery life on the iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 side by side. Do the newer models really last longer, or is Apple just selling us upgrades? With new models coming out almost every year, it can be tough to keep up with all the latest updates and innovations. That's where a comparison like this comes to your aid. Will the iPhone 11 still keep up, or is the iPhone 15 going to leave them all in the dust? You don't want to miss this, stay tuned and let's find out together. Alright, let's get started with the battery test. To keep things fair, I've made sure all the devices are set up identically. The brightness is the same on each, they're all connected to the same Wi-Fi network, and they're running the latest iOS version. With everything lined up, we can dive right into the tests and see how they perform. For the first hour I'll leave the screens on without any apps running, just pure screen on time. So while that's going on, let's take a closer look at the specs of the first phone in today's test. Released about 5 years ago this iPhone 11 battery health is sitting at 72%. A lot of people tend to change their battery before it drops this low, but we'll see if it offers decent autonomy. Let's see what results we have after the first hour. In first place with only 3% loss is the iPhone 15, followed by the 14 and 13 which are tied with 91% of the remaining battery, after which, also tied are the iPhone 11 and 12 which have lost 10%. We're just getting started, and there's a lot more to explore. Next up, I'm going to test how well these phones handle YouTube videos at 1080p resolution for a full 2 hours. But in the meantime, let's dive into the specifications of the second model we're covering today. With an 82% battery health this iPhone 12 is actually a year newer than the previous model we showcased. So if you're looking for a solid upgrade without breaking the bank, this could be just the device you need. 3 hours in, and the trend continues. The iPhone 15 is still in the lead with 76% battery remaining looking strong. Meanwhile, the iPhone 11 and 12 have dropped to about 50%, showing their age a bit. So, as expected, the newer models are holding up better. Let's see if that trend holds in the next few hours. I will continue to use one of the biggest consumers, therefore in the next hour I will film in 4K resolution and 24 frames per second. In the meantime, let's move on to the presentation of the third phone. The iPhone 13, it's sleek, powerful, and packed with features that might make you think twice before upgrading. With up to 2.5 hours more battery life than the iPhone 12, this phone is built to last the day, but it's not a new phone, so it has 85% battery health. The camera consumes a lot of energy and the phones heat up more, so I will also present the temperature of each of them. After 4 hours of continuous use, out of all the devices we've tested so far, the iPhone 15 is the only one that's still holding strong above that 50% battery threshold. The rest of the phones are following a pretty predictable trend. Looks like we're approaching a point where the first device is about to shut down soon. We're moving on and in the next two hours the devices will be running the TikTok app which is set to auto-scroll. There are two more phones to present, so in the meantime let's move on to the presentation of the penultimate one. Powered by the A15 Bionic chip, this thing flies through anything you throw at it, all that in a gorgeous premium design. The iPhone 14 is definitely a good choice. With 88% health, we'll see together if it's worth the cost, compared to the others. Alright, here we come to the first phone that shuts down. With a poor battery health, the iPhone 11 manages to last almost 5 hours. It shuts down at 4 hours and 49 minutes. Not bad at all, considering its age. For a phone that's been around for a while, I'd say this is still a pretty solid performance at around 10 minutes away. After running for 5 hours and 7 minutes, the iPhone 12's battery completely drained and it shut down. Honestly, considering the phone is a bit worn out, this result is actually pretty fair. Moving on, we've got the third device in line and after nearly 6 hours of continuous operation, the iPhone 13 lasted 5 hours and 51 minutes before it powered down completely. Impressive, right? For a device that's been out for a while, that's a solid showing. It delivers excellent battery life especially when you consider its price point. Definitely a win for anyone looking for a reliable device that doesn't need constant recharging. We've now hit the 6 hour mark of continuous use, and as you can see, we're down to just 2 phones left in the test. Both are holding up, but not for long. I'm going to keep pushing them in gaming mode until one of them finally gives out. While we wait for these two to battle it out, let's take a quick look at the features of the last phone in the race. From its stunning dynamic island display to the powerful A17 chip, the iPhone 15 makes everything run smoother than ever. With a nearly new device and 100% battery health, the real question is, what are we actually getting for the money? 
Let's see if this is a solid investment or just another overhyped purchase. As expected, the penultimate one to shut down is the iPhone 14. It lasted 6 hours and 16 minutes. Now that's not bad by any means, but definitely not standing out in a crowd of competitors today. I'm curious, what do you think? Is this enough for you, or would you be expecting more from an iPhone at this point? And here we have the winner of the test. If you're thinking about buying the iPhone 15, you'll be getting around 8 hours of screen time. Now that's pretty impressive, but the real question is, do you think it's worth the money? I'd love to know your thoughts. Drop your answers in the comments below, I'm curious to see what you all think. And if you want more in-depth reviews like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button to support the channel. It really helps me bring you more detailed tests like this. Thanks for watching.